Hi, right, so in this video, what I'm going to show you is the basics of using the simulator in MPLAB. So the simulator in MPLAB allows us to look at variables and these kinds of different things while, while we can uh, test the program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first load the simulator. So debugger sel select two, and I'm going to go down to MPLAB sim, which is our simulator. Now I notice a couple of buttons come up. I'm just going to move these aside. Um, so here, what I've taken the liberty of doing is creating a little uh, program where I just have two integers, Fred and Bob, and assign values to both Fred and Bob, and then just do some basic arithmetic. Now, the nice thing with simulators is that it gives you several different pieces of functionality. So first of all, I'm going to compile this program. And OK, so uh, it's nice that I don't have any syntactical problems. Um, one of the first things the simulator will allow you to do is to add things such as breakpoints. Okay, so you can add this by double clicking in the margin, different breakpoints at different points in your program. What it also allows you to do is to step into and step over within your code. It also allows you to step out. It allows you to run to the next breakpoint or just animate and go through. In addition, it also allows you to reset, i.e. go back to the start of the program. So what I'm going to do is just hit the run button. So we can see how that looks. And you notice a green arrow shows up and shows that we've stopped at a breakpoint. What this means is that we're waiting to execute this particular line of code until we can move on. So that's the first piece of usefulness. Next piece of usefulness is that we can use something, uh, you can use um, watch windows, which you probably used back in year one. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the view menu and you can see the watch under here. And here we go. And what we could do is we could add a symbol. In this case, we could add either Bob or I can add Fred. Both of these are currently out of scope. Now, if I just would do step, notice both Bob and Fred took on some values immediately. So Bob now has the value of seven and Fred has the value of two. We can see through this program, if we were to read down was that Fred actually has the value of two and Bob, it becomes two by two is four plus Bob is three, which is seven. So there you have it. That's the simulator in a nutshell. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.